Yo, it's Sunday the 15th. I'm still playing around with these batteries, junkyard dogs. There's not much going on, there's not a lot of wind, but I just want to show you what I've done to the turbine itself. Oh, it's going up a tiny bit. We may get something after all. Please remember these batteries are crap and the turbine's uh, restrained to one, so it's not going to be spinning that fast even if there was a lot of wind so the power's just coming in here getting rid off the meter and uh, yeah I'll just go show you the turn so I've covered it in foil tape hopefully to make it look a bit stealthier from t forest uh, there's not a lot of wind today about six miles an hour but it's actually running okay as soon as it's low wind it's coming from that direction the north so it's hitting the rear side front as we're looking at it like i said it's restrained to one battery so it's not gonna be whizzing it round even if there was a lot of wind i'm sure you know what i mean by that difference between it being loaded and unloaded <coughs> yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm now showing you what kind of wind is i'm just gonna go look at the battery again see what that's not a lot looks like it's maintaining the status quo so i'm just gonna unplug the battery and see what the meter is saying so the, the meter is saying now not a lot it's only making five volts okay that's what the turbine's doing so i'm going to plug the battery back on And I'm going to go out and put some weights on it, see if it makes any difference. Because I know it's running at about the right speed. So you can see I've covered most of the cans and the frame in tin foil tape. So, one weight in there. Five kilograms. Come on, stop. One weight in there. running nice and quietly I'd say the winds only about seven mile an hour really I've made a couple of amendments to the chain structure the mounting that holds the rotor assembly on needs changing so that there's the bearing at the top above the second rotor so yeah that'll get done but I went over and had a look and it definitely looks a bit more of a blur. I'll try and uh, take a walk down there and get some footage of it so you can see what I mean. So sweet, I'll go and see what the meat is doing though. Nada. Again, if I just... Uh... You can see what the turbine's doing now. It's just under what it needs to be. No, that didn't really work. Not enough wind. <laughs> Don't give up just yet, knees. I need you for a few more years.
I'm hoping from a distance this looks a bit more stealthy. Anyway, I don't think the wind's about six miles an hour, so there ain't gonna be much action today, but it seems to be running okay for the next lot of wind, which isn't gonna be for a while, I don't think. But off before see so what I'll do actually is I'll take the uh, take the battery off and we'll see what happens not a lot shows you how well the cans do pick up the wind so I might go down and actually put it on two batteries so it'll be 24 volt mode theoretically I'll go see what the meat is doing anyway without <coughs> actually no I won't I'll just show you the difference it makes when I plug the battery in Not a lot, I'm not sure if it's actually was plugged in anyway, but so yeah, <clears throat> I guess see what the meat is doing. Turning the camera on is like the kiss of death for the meter. There you go. So yeah, you know the score. Hopefully it's gonna sit there and uh, fill it up, but <clears throat> it's a poor quality battery. It's been good enough for the current test, but what I need to do is need to buy a, a decent one. Try and get a big leisure battery, or two, or 10, or 50. So yeah, in a bit. 